What is up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you had a fantastic weekend Because we got a week full of game development ah, Alright, let's see what's here on my notes uh, Okay, yeah, GDevelop Alright, GDevelop 5 is out Somebody was telling me that uh, GDevelop has officially dropped support for GDevelop 4 So, if you have GDevelop 4, it's probably a good time to upgrade Okay Let me see which version I have, I'm pretty sure I have 5 is a G develop okay so how do I find out my version number so I find out which version I have this is the start page doesn't tell me here which version which one is it how do we find out if we have the old version it tells me which version I have I'm pretty sure I have five I'm, I'm not and I think the safest thing to do it's probably to just download the new version which I'm going to do right now it's been a while, so I'm, I'm sure this is the um, latest version. Okay. GDevelop 4, old version. More support will be provided in the future for GDevelop 4. We recommend any GDevelop user to upgrade to GDevelop 5. No crap. Alright. Download it. Wait, wait a second. You can try this online too. All right, we're gonna do, do that. But first, let me download this first. Let's see, let's run this. Installing. And I think it's done. Is it done? Yes, it is. Now, if everything looks new, I know it's a different version. Okay, this is totally a new version. This is beta five. Okay. Oh, look at this stuff. I just installed this and he already wants to update. This is good. This is good. It has now push notifications. Yeah, this is the new G develop. Okay, I think I was missing. So now I don't know how to use this now because everything looks new. And um, okay, so I guess you can create a project, uh, create a new project, or search in the documentation. Why would you want to do that? If you go create new project, okay, you can select a platformer. Oh, hey, I didn't want to click on that. Alright, so the platformer game. I think we've seen this before. One of those. Let me see what else you can do. New project. Uh, space shooter. Okay. Oh, this is new. This was in the previous version. Whoa, I like this. I might make a game like this. You know, uh, I want to make a simple game like this where... You know, you just shoot stuff and you find a boss and you just... You know, I'm not even pressing the space bar to shoot. I mean, this thing is shooting on its own. And my best guess, it's because this is intended for mobile uh, devices. Okay, I think I, I posted a couple of videos on um, how to upload this to the Google Play Store. Okay, if you want to check it out, I will probably leave a link under the description below. If I forget, just remind me, okay? Sometimes I forget. I'm forgetful. Okay, I'm trying to upload at least uh, five videos a day to keep the channel busy, except for the weekend, because the weekend I do other stuff like game development for myself, or I have clients doing. I got, I got do other, other kinds of stuff too. Clean the house and and yeah, stuff like that. All right, so let me see. Uh, try new. Uh, I really like this. This is really good. New project. Um, example tutorials. Yeah, physics. Physics. What is this here? Whoa! New example. Look at that. Look at that stuff. Whoa! I'm I'm liking this. Oh, you can build things too. It's like Fortnite. I can't believe this engine is free. You don't have to pay anything for it. So I think you should always donate some money towards uh, uh, G Develop drop a buck or something every so often and to this channel of course you should always support the channel i should put a donation box on the uh, on the side there but i think there is a i think there's a buy me a coffee link there somewhere let me just put my paypal there all right close this see what else we got here uh, various particles and effects what is this all about whoa guys look at this stuff 
As I mentioned, this engine is completely free. Anyone can use this. Wow, I like this. Um, another thing is that um, if you're new to a GDevelop, uh, GDevelop is a drag and drop. There's no need for programming. You can program, I believe. You, there is a way to uh, implement a C++. And, uh, but I don't think it's necessary. Unless you're involved in some sort of big project kind of thing and uh, you need something that is not in the engine which is kind of hard to find physics examples explosive particles uh pathfinding okay i think we found oh it's a new one it's not a no okay pathfinding okay who's going to find a path let's see um go over here go here okay tank come over behind this wall and he does it. Go park next to this car here. Wow, this is better than uh, the, the, the Google car, right? Because, you know... Wow, that's that's really good. Close this comment. Barriers, particles, vacancy... Zombie laser. Zombie laser. All this stuff is new, guys. This wasn't here before. Whoa, 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 zombie laser. What a fun game. You just um, laser all the zombies. This this strategy will work. Just go like this. Meh, meh. See how long it lasts. There's no marker there. I should, I should add a uh, counter to this, so... It's a good concept, but except for I can't move, I, I, I guess you could add movement to this. There will be no problem, but why would you want to move? You want to stay in the thunder. And the zombies are starting to come faster and more zombies. I think I can contain these zombies. Oh no, he got me. You've been eaten. You've been eaten. You know sure what else we got here? We got a uh, parallax background. And I think we already had this one. And it's just a parallax example. Basically, the background scrolls slower than the front ground. And you can do that yourself. That's. But I guess that's just an example that she doesn't even jump. All right. Do we have more examples? Uh, no, okay, so that's examples. How about tutorials? Okay, this is make a game from scratch Make a simple tank laser shooter from scratch. Uh, they used to have more examples here. What happened? What happened? Okay, so that's the examples in the new G develop. Let me just go file new again. Uh, da, 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 da. So you can make a space shooter and platformers. Okay, the platformer is the most common uh, kind of game you, you're you going to make. Properties. Look, everything has changed. Everything looks neater. Global variables. Icons. Resources. I guess this is where all your pictures are. And sound effects and all kinds of stuff. Scenes. External events that goes uh, outside. Um, so we have a scene already. Where's my scene? We don't have a scene yet. Okay, so click to add a scene. There's my scene. Change the properties for the scene. So uh, right click, theme properties. All right, I have nothing here. So let me just call this um, the game. Background color. Uh, make it, um, make it, make it blue, mm. or oh, green, that's green, I, I can't even tell my colors. Okay, so, I want to insert something here, like, um, I want to bring in something to the screen, so I guess I have to add an object, a sprite, and, um, okay, I guess, uh, click to add an animation. Oh, you can add behaviors and animations. Okay, so add an animation first. Okay, look at that stuff. You can um, use a pith scale now. 
And it loves Pascal. Look at that. <laughs> it comes inside of um, GDevelop. That's neat. So, which means that now I can make myself an animation. Okay, resize from the center. Doesn't matter really. Resize. So now we are working at 32 by 32. Just gonna make something simple, like a, like a 